Welcome back to the Journal Show. I'm your host, Lawrence. If you're not familiar with the premise, I have been going through a series of reading off my old travel journals, um, and I've been doing it in my apartment mainly, um, but I'm getting ready soon in about a month and a half to take off in this here van to L.A., uh, where I'm going to just kind of essentially be homeless and uh, pursue some dreams out there, find some opportunities, see what life brings. I'm bringing my camera with me and my microphone set up and my lights and everything, and I plan on pers- uh, pushing my podcast, which I started, um, and continuing this journal show and seeing how this YouTube channel evolves. So for now, I'm just testing out how it's going to be filming inside my van, aka my home. Maybe I'll give a little van tour, maybe. Um, but yeah. Hi, how are you today, YouTube? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I haven't really looked at what I'm going to read yet. I I will say I am just kind of excited about what's happening, what's coming up in my life. Hold on, someone's talking. What's up? Hey, you going to work? Not right now. You going to work out? Not right, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, okay. It's fixing a storm. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, it's gonna be a, tor- a tornado watch till 11. Till 11? There's a tornado watch? Yeah. Just be careful. Yeah, I mean, I might go in later, but right now I'm testing out shooting some stuff in my van. Okay. Like with my camera and stuff. Okay, well, I didn't mean to bug you. Man. No, you're not bugging me. Alright, I'll bug right. you a little bit. Alright. And we're back. Um. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and get started here. I think this is the start of a dream journal, so let's see what we got here. All right. We're skipping to 2015. Um, This journal here says, Endless possibilities. Inspire, engage, collaborate. And it's just a little ruled, lined paper. I didn't write any dates on here, but I know it's from 2015. We're going to see what I say. Day one. First morning of writing. Hair is in my face. I have to write for two minutes. This is supposed to help my creativity as an actor. Hmm. It will definitely help my penmanship a little. Can't stop. Must keep writing. It's almost summer. Can't wait until the weather is warm constantly. Day two. I feel great. My six pack is coming in nicely. Think and Grow Rich is a great book. Ooh, it's starting to thunder. Um, it's really helping me prioritize my goals and find confidence in myself. I'm hungry, could not shut my mind off last night. It was weird, had to imagine all kinds of crazy things. I have one eye open and one eye closed. It's 4.30 a.m. I've decided to wake up 30 minutes early in order to get a good stretch before basketball. Winning. My stomach hurts. I'm really full. Keep writing. Use imagination. Cigars. Rich people. Abdominal exercises are awesome. Love thy neighbor. I was obsessed. Dude, my struggle with body image is incessant. Still plagues me, even though I'm more comfortable in my skin now. Still plagues me. I'm still not where I'd like to be, and I still think every day these thoughts. The rain's starting. Pause. Bars and... There's two dogs humping in the yard over there. The clouds aren't dark, but they're full of rain. They're heavy. A little bit of lightning. It's the afternoon. Little pin drops are hitting the top of my metal roof van. It smells like spring. It feels like I'm on the edge of summer. And it also feels like I'm on the edge of the cliff. And I'm about to jump off and have to say goodbye to... Once again, say goodbye to the life that I started building. I'm very good at saying goodbye. 
Sorry, I don't mean to avoid you, but I think I'm gonna lock up this. Hopefully that didn't kill the lighting situation that we had. I had a thought. Man, it would be great to just do this for a living. There's a thought. I work in a coffee shop right now. You can't really call that work. I don't have a career. I don't have a plan to have a career. Um, I do plan on continually investing in my experiences and hoping that one day those will pay fruitfully. But you can't be promised that. The rain's coming. This segment is called, and it's going to be full of little quips and one-sentence stories. <laughs> or one-paragraph stories. There is a place he calls home, where he's loved and alone. In the day it's a cave, in the night it's a hug. A kiss and a smile. Though he does not know, he has a power beyond his understanding. The power to push on or destroy a family. He is loved and will be missed, and his life is in our hands. He's so strong and yet fragile, just like a man. <sighs> I think it's just stories. <laughs> Did you know dragons are real? It's true. I've seen them. They're in a magical land far away. It's a place locked inside a child's mind and a pure heart. Imagine. Dancing is like telling a story. Your movements flow through your body like words out of the mouth or ink out of the pen. Creativity and imagination are the key to a good story. You have to feel the music because each song has its own story. Once you can step into the realm of language without words, you can speak with your body and make people listen with their eyes. The universal language is no secret code. You must simply open the ears of your heart. If only we were all as simple-minded as birds. Birds don't make war. Birds can feel love and pain, but not malice. They experience the joy of flying, not artificially, like we've managed to. Birds do not litter. They only suffer from our lack of caring where our trash goes. If there were no humans, just birds, the world would be a perpetually beautiful place, not on the verge of madness. This is fun. I don't remember most of this, you know? This is a me, this is a very specific version of me that's very interesting to me now. Each of these thoughts are different and in the same vein of kind of just stream of consciousness. Also the way I numbered them, like this is number 19. They're all short and concise. It's very interesting to me. Next, tell me who decides to be lonely. What pushes a person to that place of detachment? If there is anything that I've learned while traveling, it is that we are all alone and we are all different. You can only truly see things from your own perspective. No matter how hard you try, it's all we know. So don't blame yourself for that. 22. What does one do without compassion? He's a zombie in a three-piece suit. He is as lifeless as any object that fills the walls of his own home. He is an apparition among the world and a shadow of the man. Is it sad that a man's possessions will outlive the man? These things that were hard to obtain and cherished are only gonna be pawned off to the highest bidder or the quickest hands. So, my question is why, as always. 
what is the tr what is truly the point in buying a great sized living space and filling it with items to feel comfortable? Where's the enjoyment in inanimate objects? It's character and love that a being should want. I'm gonna leave you on that one. This video has been interesting to me to see. Um, I also feel a need or a sense of more. Maybe I need to figure out more for these videos. I'm gonna post this one and I'm gonna leave this part in. But I need to figure out more. I need a story to tell. Um, you know, a starting line and a finish line. I feel like I just turn the camera on and say, hey, I'm just gonna see what happens. And usually what happens is okay. You know, I'm not super happy with it. I don't hate it, but I think I could do more. And so, just a thought for me, for myself. Anywho, thank you all for watching. Um, tune in for the next one. And, uh, you know, drop a like, leave a comment. It helps the algorithm. <laughs> thank you. Peace.